What's going on guys? I'm Deadly Psycho and today we're going to be reviewing Weekend 1 to the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Beta. We got a lot to talk about today but I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. First thing we got is the disappearing HUD. Every time you die, the HUD for some reason disappears and you don't see the kill feed anymore or anything else. I don't know if that's been the case in the previous Call of Duties but it's for some reason really annoying in this one. Anyways, moving on to the next on the list, the thrusters. Thrusters are really annoying for some reason in this game. I don't know if it's just because they're not really smooth or if they're just hella nerfed compared to Black Ops 3, but it just doesn't seem right if we can have the Black Ops 3 thrusters or just completely take out the thrusters altogether. That would be pretty cool. Next up on the list are spawns. Spawns are ridiculous in this game, man. Like, I don't know where anybody is going to spawn, and half the time I run out of the building that I spawned in. There's people behind me, there's people in front of me. I don't know what's going on. So, I don't know what. I don't maybe. Maybe I just don't know where the spawns are or anything. It just seems hectic in this game. I don't know if it's just the really small maps that they have out for the beta, but it seems like that needs to be fixed. Next up on the list are controls. For some reason, you can't change your controls like you can in Black Ops 3 from the L2 and R2 to L1 and R1 like it was in previous Call of Duties. Like, I don't know if anybody's upset about that or anything, but I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. It's not that big of a deal since I play Overwatch and I can play with the L2 and R2 and same with Rocket League and whatnot. So it doesn't bother me, but... It would be nice to switch that back to the old Call of Duty and be able to play with the L1 and R1. Next up on the list is health regen. Health regen is retardedly slow. Like, I don't understand why they decided to put it ridiculously slow. Like, like I'll get shot one or two times and I'll have to sit in a freaking wherever the hell I am, like behind a box or whatever for like two and a half minutes. Like, that's a lot of time. Not really two and a half minutes, but you know, it takes a long time for me to regain my health to be able to go out and freaking shoot people. Plus, it's a fast-paced game, so why make the health regen really slow? Next on the list is the scoreboard. For some reason, I like Rocket League scoreboard a lot, where you just you press the button and it shows up, and then you let go of the button and it disappears. That is a really awesome menu, and I like it a lot. That way I don't have to click the button, look at my menu, and then have to click it again just to turn it off. It makes things so much more smooth, and I wish they would add that. Coming up next on the list is the Scarab. The Scarab is retardedly slow. Like, I'm using retarded a lot in this video, but seriously, the Scarab is really slow. Like, it's not even, it's not even, it doesn't compare to the RCXD or the hcxd or whatever they are nowadays it's not a great score streak to use but it is beneficial to use sometimes i absolutely hate the scarabs entrance little clip or whatever where you swipe across the screen or swipe swipe across your face or whatever and then all of a sudden some screen shows up and it takes like a second to freaking pop up and then now you can see what you're doing in the in the scarab and then you can drive it or whatever i absolutely hate that it takes me out of the game it just ruins freaking using that freaking score streak and i don't know if that happens for any of the other score streaks but it's really annoying not only that but the spawn display at the beginning of some games for some reason at the beginning of some games and i think it's just one map actually your screen like you you'll choose your weapon or whatever and then your screen will freaking go into this weird freaking trance or whatever and then you'll be in the game or whatever and then you'll be freaking you know counting down and you can move around and do your taunts i don't like that little freaking trance looking screen i don't understand why that's in there it is really annoying Anyways, that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the two videos on the screen, and I'll see you in the next video.